Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to replace the FEP film on the bottom of the resin vat of your 3D printer. And I'm going to give you some tips I learned along the way. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And recently I did a video about how to design and 3D print custom game tokens. And in the process of doing this work, I had to change the FEP film on the bottom of my resin vat twice. And uh, I had to do that not because it leaked, but because of some distortions I got in the printing. So I'm going to show you some of that. And then I had some issues actually changing the FEP film, and I'll tell you about that as well. So I'm going to give you the things I learned, in some cases learned the hard way, I'm going to cover in this video. I first knew I had a problem when I saw this groove on one of my tokens. I checked my FEP film and sure enough in the middle there was a stretched part of the FEP that was causing that groove. I knew it was time to change the FEP film. The first thing I did is remove the vat and drained it. I completely removed the large screws that hold the vat in place. Now I'm using latex gloves here but I've recently learned that you should use nitrile gloves when working with UV resin. There are a pack of tools that came with my printer and one of these Allen wrenches are going to fit these screws. So I have to remove all 14 of them and set them aside. And then you take the frame out, you remove the old FEP, you clean it up, and then I'm using the extra FEP film that came with my printer, and I'm reinstalling it. I use techniques you learn in framing, which is you work from side to side to make sure that when you're tightening it, you're doing it in a uniform way. I only tightened it halfway down and then I stopped and used these curved embroidery shears to cut away the excess FEP. Then when I finish tightening it, it will pull the edge down below the edge of the vat so the vat will sit flush on the printer. I tried using an X-Acto knife, but the embroidery scissors worked better for me. I reinstalled the vat and refilled it, but now I had bigger problems than I had before. Clearly something wasn't right. So I ran the clean the vat tool on my printer and it exposes the entire LCD screen for 60 seconds and you get this rectangle in the bottom of your vat. Then you carefully use your plastic spatula to remove it and it pulls out all those deformities you see on the bottom. So now the question is why did they occur? And after cleaning the vat I see that there's a bubble in the FEP, and I mean this is a real bubble. If you push on it with your finger, it will move around a little bit in the bottom of the vat. I did some research online, and based on that, I looked at some replacement film I had bought from Elegoo, and it says this on the pack, please peel off the protection film from the release liner. So I pulled the Creality package out of the trash and looked it over carefully, and there is nothing here about removing protective film, at least not in English. So I pulled it out and worked away at the corner of this and sure enough there was protective film on the FEP I had installed. So I pulled that off and this is impossible to see if you don't know to look for it. It costs about four dollars for one of these so I just went and reinstalled the one I had taken off and it looks great and it's worked great ever since. I'm learning a lot about 3D resin printing and I hope to share that all with you. If you're interested, please subscribe to my channel.